Welcome back to RimWorld, everybody. Last episode, we made a decent headway into building most of the base. Obviously, the wall is just fantastic. And then we also got Jilp's war form, which is just incredible. I love it. I can't wait for a raid to send it so we can actually test this out. Hopefully, during nighttime, we'll get something like that kicking around. Man, this is looking pretty good, huh? It's, it's a great start. These bone walls are garbage, though, so we do need to replace them eventually. If we deconstruct them, I imagine we'll get the bone back, so it's not that big a deal. The only downside was, obviously, we tried getting that bone crate last episode and didn't quite have enough. So I think we're just going to have to build him any old royal coffin now. Can we make him a, a golden one? It's very expensive. Um, well, like a, just a bone royal coffin? That would do it. That's fine. I'm not, not that concerned. So this is going to be Jilp's little sort of own personal hideaway bedroom. The start of Castle Jilp, anyway. We want it as kind of a research area. That's the primary job here. And so Jilp doesn't have to go back and forth. And mingle with the commoners is basically the uh, basically the main conceit of this whole thing here. Now also starting work on a prison would be fantastic. I kind of want the prison more down here. I was originally thinking it in this area. But if we have it sort of... Uh, let's take a look here. If we do it something like that, you know. If we do it like this, they can have a big yard. They can have, ooh, it didn't like that one. We can have a big yard. We can have lots of separate buildings. And more importantly, we get this quarryable area in so they can actually put in some work. I was also somewhat concerned that these might get broken, like the uh, the geothermal vents and things. So I ideally want to keep those away from the prisoners because I imagine they might just fuck them up. Anyway, let's worry about that later on. We are in the dead of winter right now. The, the snow is falling and everybody's very cold, especially Jilp over in this house by himself right now. So we actually do need some room to put heaters in that things as well. Jilp hasn't quite yet moved. We're going to move him over. Uh, very very shortly what i'd like to do though is let's just make sure how are the prisoners doing are they still okay um needs they're fine naked a little bit annoyed by that one witness food in vampire they're in darkness ah that's a very easy mood debuff to fix so let's quickly stick a light in there we've got a couple of colonists that we actually want to recruit as well we're trying to get Erasa on board we're trying to get tammy on board as well because tammy is pretty decent vol however is our first prisoner true prisoner that we're never going to try and recruit we're never going to release and we're never going to sell they are just going to sit around and basically mine for us huh so there is a very slight bit of frame rate like you might have noticed it there i can only assume the issue with that is in regards to jilp he's moving basically too fast and it, it's too quick for the game to handle even on speed one speed two we'll still get the same thing it's nothing to do with the, uh, the the faster speed mod that we've got enabled generally it will happen when you've got a colonist that moves too fast the game can't can't quite like get the roots down for it is is only what i can assume is going on there but it is to do with their speed there are other mods as well if you get like a combination of uh, the additional floors mod and the extended prosthetics and engineering mods using those together so they get that the one mod has floors that let you move faster that combined with the advanced bionics that let you move super fast the game will just freak the fuck out because it can't keep up with the speed that they're moving it doesn't know quite how to deal with you know where they're going and when they're going Okay, this is basically done. Jump can finish off this bedroom in his sort of own time now. Uh, and we'll, we'll move him in here now. And then we can convert this room into a sort of barrack for our wardens. This room we can convert into a crafting room as well. Because it's clearly got this big old stop pan and barely anything in it, right? So uh, we'll deal with that as well. I haven't allowed food in there, have I? Because that seems to be a standard stockpile. Um, whoopsie daisy, that's my mistake. Um, we'll allow fresh, definitely no rotten things. And then no corpses besides mechanoid. That's fine. All right then, so... What? Malnutrition. What? Is there no plants? What the fuck do boom rats eat then? Huh? Okay, well that's not a... I mean, maybe it's because I've given them such a small area. Let's expand that out. You know what? They can eat the... They can eat the crops if they want. I don't really give too much of a shit. Um, especially because we're in winter and, you know, that's kind of irrelevant. Let's just not let them in the base because that's what I was concerned about. Is obviously for temperature, that's fairly garbage if they're going in and out of the freezers all day. We'll do something like that. There we go. If they can find food there, they're more than welcome to it. That's a real shame because we paid quite a fortune for those. Uh, or, we, or we paid a decent amount, a decent chunk of our silver because we don't have much right now. That was quite a or quite a significant amount. Can we not do anything with you? Life-threatening malnutrition. Can we not, like, give them a nice, tasty meal? Uh, sleeping spot animal. Where is that? There we go. Okay. Right, let's put down a couple in here. We've only got three boom rats now, so I guess that's fairly irrelevant. Um, rescue. Go and rescue that boom rat, and let's see if we can't feed it something. Can we just feed it, like, a meal? Uh, there you go. And then... No, kind of prioritize not assigned to doctoring. Oh, shit, we need a doctor to do that. Van, feed this, feed this boom rat. Force, force feed into its mouth. What are we feeding it these days? Um, insect meat. Tasty. In Look, boom rats love insect meat, trust me. And there goes our corn as well. Okay. So what we want to do is... What's, what do we actually need to do for this one? So floors aren't super. I'm thinking the most important stuff. So first things first, we'll put down a... Oh, how much bone have we got? <laughs> I kind of want a whole bone bedroom out of this one. Uh, well, all, all of Job's bedrooms are bone bedrooms. But I mean a bedroom built of bone. Uh, where, where is bone? Oh, there we go. Um, oh, we've only got 219 left. 
I mean, this is kind of important, right? This is literally the bedroom of Jill. They, they give the beauty bonus. There. It is also cool aesthetically, just to have things built out of bone. So we get 30 there. So it's 30 as well. Okay, so we've got 50, 30, so we're 80. We've got like roughly 50 left then in that case. Was it 133 or 233? Um, okay, hold on. We have way more than I thought. All right. And then we could probably afford to put down something like a bone plant pot or what about the old style furniture? I don't want to mix and match it too much. So that's the issue. In fact, you know what? Let's not mix and match it. Let's stick to one. Uh, where is that end table then? My god, it's too difficult to find anything on here. There we go. End table made of bone. I love that the old furniture mod actually supports the, uh, the bone structures. Oh, that one you have to, think you have to place adjacently because that didn't have the, you know, sort of the line that shows what it's connected to. We can still do that. It's not a big deal, huh? Nice. Jill, no pressure, but your new bedroom is almost ready to go. It's one o'clock in the morning. If you can get that finished off, that would basically... Oh, man, we need quality builder, though. Uh, what, is, what is your building skill? 10. 11. I'm going to let Jilp deal with it, honestly. Uh, in fact, I might make just Jilp our head builder. And sort of let these other two sort of lower their priorities a little bit. So let's turn this one down. There we go. And let's turn them up for construction. Oh, sorry, delivery. Seems like a good idea, but that is below stone cutting. So we'll put that one to the highest. So they'll harvest. If they can't harvest, uh, they will deliver. So actually, I probably want to put grow a little higher as well. Same with cook for the one guy. Um, yeah, it's already on. So this guy, if he can't butcher or cook, he'll, uh, grow crops. And if he can't grow crops, he will be delivering resources, building projects. This guy, obviously we've got this important stuff down here. Uh, this guy, if he can't harvest or grow, he'll then smith for, to make bullets. I, I still think that's higher priority. If he can't do that, he'll start delivering crops. Then obviously, you know, we'll go through that. Sure. Joe, I'm going to train you up to be our best builder because, you know, he's fastest, best in manipulation. He's also not much worse than our current best builder. There we go. Normal, normal. Um, that's inactive. That's inactive. Oh. Um, excuse me? I guess it doesn't work with the uh, additional mod then, huh? Well, that's annoying. Uh, don't bother taking those anyway. Boom Rat 3 is now also dead. For fuck's sake, what is wrong with him? Just eat some food. Don't die. If you eat that food, you won't die. Right, put bone end table down. Get to work on that one then. There we go. All right, and then we should have enough to finish this one off as well, just about. Oh, he's bringing some more over. Perfect. <coughs> wow, I'm trying not to die here. Please, Jilp, don't kill me. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to set owner Jilp, and we're just going to move into this house so it stops disturbing people, because he's awake during the nighttime. That's one of the big issues. He's coming in and out of this room, you know, stone curtain, whatever, and it's waking these other two up, and they're, they're kind of getting a little bit arsy about it. All right, fine, nothing to worry about then. We can get rid of this old coffin. Jilp, what the fuck are you doing? Beating fire out. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Nothing to worry about. He's going to pray to his bone dresser. Oh, holy bone dresser. Why am I... Using wooden toilet. Oh, no. He's trapped. Jilp is trapped. We need to build him a toilet. Um, okay. We can't let him leave the house. Obviously, he'll burn to death. Uh, oh, God. Can we make a bone toilet? Well, that's just horrendous. We have no steel? What do you mean we've got no steel? What are all those ships that we disassembled? How strange. Okay, uh, what can we build a toilet out of then? I'll take anything. Marble toilet. We no, it just needs a minimum of steel. Oh, God. Um, what the hell happened to all of our steel? We, dis we disassembled, like, three or four spaceships, didn't we? Okay, this could be a concern, because Jump needs the bathroom, and uh, we don't have a bathroom for it. We're just going to have to build him a latrine. Okay, um, come and dig Jump a latrine, if you don't mind. Okay, Jump, you're just going to have to stand there and wait. Okay, there you go. You're good. Right, using the latrine... Oh, Eclipse! He can... Oh, that's so good. What a, what a fucking convenient time, huh? Get to it, my friend. Oh my god, that was so good. I guess the Eclipse, normally it's obviously kind of a detrimental thing in the base game, because you get, like, darkness, solar panels can't work, plants can't grow. For us, though, that's great. That's, like, a big bonus. Cargo pods, what have we got in these, then? We have ourselves some delicious, tasty garden coffee. Can vampires drink coffee? I mean, it would move fucking fast. Then. I mean, the game's bugging out, given how fast he's moving already. That's why, let's just make it infinitely worse, huh? Boom Rat 4 lives. Well done, Boom Rat 4. Show about the other two that we basically wasted our golden, but hey, two live. That's okay by me. Right, so, goal, then. Um, first things first, let's set up an actual dedicated... Uh, like, crafting area might be the best word for it. So let's reinstall... Excuse me. I hate the way those bills pop up whenever we... I don't know what the fuck mod that is, but it's driving me insane. Uh, let's put that one there, and then get out of here. Thank you. Get out of here. Right, reinstall this one over to here, and then we've also got... Uh, this one needs reinstall... Excuse me. This one needs reinstalling as well. Right, there we go. So we'll just build, like, uh... That kind of works. Yeah, that's okay. That That's fine. And then get these chairs reinstalled as well. Right, so we're going to have a, a more dedicated work area. Then hopefully we can work on the bedrooms before this eclipse ends and they go to bed. Or before bedtime, essentially. Um, oh, no, actually. It's four in the afternoon. This has completely fucked my brain on, on the whole, you know, night and day cycle. 
Prodho's working on this one, then. Uh, let's, let's queue up just a whole bunch of these. Just get these done immediately. Alright, that's pretty fantastic. And then let's get you to queue up these ones. There we go. Okay, so he'll work on that next. Good, good, good. And that should be everything gone. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to work on, you know, like I said, getting some actual bedrooms, turning this from a barrack into a uh, into some dedicated bedrooms. All right, let's also move this over here, because the last thing we want is them working in darkness. That's something I always fall into the trap of doing. Put a copy, and let's just put this one down there, and we'll put one up here. Perfect. Okay, good. Uh, can I copy this one as well, my friend? Thank you. Okay, good. I'm, happy, I'm pretty happy with that. It's obviously horrible, but it's okay for now. It's, 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 we're still during this early game. I'm trying to do a hundred things at once. I really should just pick a task and focus on it. But I do kind of like building up this little bit here and then this little bit here, keeping it nice and, uh, nice and, nice and fresh for our colonists. You know, new environment for them all. Okay, good. So now, while they're asleep, why don't we just do some serious hefty DIY? So we're gonna get rid of this one. This can be reinstalled into. I guess it's fine. Oh no, it blocks the shower there. Okay. Um. It doesn't really matter where we put it, though. We could literally put it in the dining room, and it wouldn't make a damn bit of difference. There, put it there. Put the boiler in the dining room. That's not such a... I, I, my last house had a boiler in the dining room, so I don't think that's weird at all. I mean, it is a bit weird, but it's not that weird, okay? Let's move. Wooden horseshoe spit room barracks awful minus five. Oh, my God. It's mostly down to the fact there's so much shit on the floor, huh? So we'll deal with that as well. Put that over there. There we go. No, 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 no. Cancel. Right, reinstall. That's that's sort of the main thing, right? Get that moved. Jilp, I need you to come work on this bedroom right now. No, I don't want you doing that one. I want you working on this one. There we go. Okay. Also, cleaning the room. Probably not a terrible idea. And we'll see if this actually has a measurable effect. Galatross. I talked about this last episode. So a Galatross is basically a thrombo, but bigger and stronger and better. We also have Warform Jilp. Who would win? One giant furry boy or one spooky Warform vampire? Great question. I think I think we've got to test it. I think we've got to see quite how powerful this Warform truly is. Um, right, so here's how we're gonna do it. Mal, you're gonna rush out here and you're just gonna like absolutely blindside it. Just just take a take a glower in, my friend. Um, don't, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there. T change my mind. Stay, no, return. Mal, stop. Okay, all right, stay there. Good. Shoot. Okay, Mal, back off. <laughs> Shoot. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, that's what we wanted to do. Did it take, oh my god, it took no damage. Why have I not learned my lesson with goddamn Galatrosses? Worst case scenario, we sit indoors and we wait for it to chill out, huh? We did that last time. Run. Jilp. Get in there. Warform. Run. Yes. Giant Warform Jilp mad. Fuck him up. Melee attack. Nice. It did nothing. The claws. They do nothing. Come on, fight. Fight. Kill. 99%. Okay. Oh my god, it's healing. It's regenerating. Oh god, Jilp is getting just fucked up. Oh my god, he is. War form. Yeah, good one. Jilp reached level two in melee. Um, no way. They still. If you're telling me, even with the patch, even with the Alpha Animals patch, that these things are this powerful. Come on. War form. Jilp can't even deal. He's down. <coughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's fine. He's... What do you mean these things are this fucking powerful? How is this still... The, gu the bu bullets did nothing. The bullets didn't even technically hit it. Look. They definitely did hit it. Galatross shot the Galatross with the SKS. Galatross, Galatross was met with a shot. Hit the shot. Galatross with a shot harmlessly. Huh. So, that last time we fought... Oh, come on. Okay, go and hide. Um, oh, OBS. There's a horrible bug with OBS right now. God knows what's causing that. Oh, that's very strange, huh? Uh, my God. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it as soon as possible. Just give me a minute. Um, wow, no, no idea what's... <clears throat> Sorry, uh, this, this is uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass, huh? Uh, what is it called? Resurrect. There we are. I mean, um, oh, the bugs. Wow, really such a shame. Um, so it turns out Galatross, actually a massive pain in the fucking ass and not even worth trying to fight unless you've apparently got some sort of like fucking tank or something. What is the deal with that? That it seems so horribly balanced. It, it's a, it's just a big rhino or something. I mean, it's, okay, fine. They should be strong. They should not be 
untouchable. They should not be invulnerable. I just think that's a little... <clears throat> I think that's a little odd. That was like a top-level power. Like, oh, God, does he look different again? Has he got, like, a different face this time? He does. Oh, that one looks a little more uh, a little more friendly, huh? Okay, Jump, go about your business. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I think they're just maybe unkillable. I wonder if it's just combat extended specifically, like the guns added by it that are just so garbage, like it lowers the maybe baseline of guns overall. I'm not sure. If anyone's got any hints for how to kill a goddamn Galatros, please let me know, and I will absolutely write those down. And the next time we see one, I'm going to... I, I think we just need, like, a big killbox, a literal firing squad. Like, somebody who's, who's got the most powerful weapons, like, armor-piercing rounds as well, perhaps? I don't know. I don't even know how you'd even try and fight something like that, having seen that again. Bear in mind, last time we fought, fought it, like I said, we didn't have the patch. We were using better weapons last time as well, and it had the similar effect. That's absolutely insane. What are you doing? Why are you... What is he doing? Was that seriously... Oh, no. Is he alive during the day? I think it may have crashed. Um, what are you doing? He ran to the other side of the fucking map to go and get a boar, which is desiccated, and now on his way back, he's gonna melt. Sorry, the game is really... Oh my god. Desperately digging a hole. He can't dig a hole because he's in the water. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Nothing to worry about. Nope, this seems fine. Uh-huh. These vampires... Uh, I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put it out there. I don't think these vampires are particularly fucking smart, huh? Oh, let's go Let's go haul that wild boar that's on the other side of the map over to the base. Oh, streamer, you should be micromanaging that. Oh, you want me to walk him around in drafted mode 24-7? Is that what you're telling me? This is ridiculous. If he knows, he should not run to the other side of the friggin' map to get himself killed. Oh, just go, just go home. Run. I will manually... I will have to manually take him home. Oh, good god. This is gonna be a whole fucking saga, isn't it? Jump's fears have subsided. No shit. Good god. I'm... I'm... <laughs> I'm not gonna say I think this is uh, horrible design. But, uh... Just, uh... Just not pretty happy about that. I feel like the second it hits, like, a certain... Like, if it's even within the window of the sunlight... I, or was it the eclipse that maybe fucked with it? Surely the eclipse would have ended by then? I don't know. Well, this is going to be fun to try and get through. Uh, yeah, do you want to just burn to death again? This is torture. Just when Jilp thought he was safe from this. We're bringing him right back. Oh, you poor man. Okay. Um, I I'm going to set a hard limit on the amount of times I'm going to bring this fucking guy back. Like, I'm still learning how this mod works. After episode six, maybe? Never doing this again. If he dies then, you know what? He's fucking dead. I'm just going to say he's, he's gone. He's, he's dead to the world. And even then, he runs back over here. You've got a nice house, Jilp. Good lord. Okay, well, that was a scenario. Uh, so bear in mind, next time there's an eclipse, Jilp basically becomes unusable, I think is probably the safest way to say it. Because there's nothing to stop him, as a vampire, running over to the other side of the map. What is your obsession with this wild boar? Put it down. Why is he hauling dead animals from the other side of the map? Hauling alpa- Is this another dead- Is it because he's got nothing else to do? Is it because he's actually got nothing else to do? Like, he's just bored. You're just bored, is that what you're telling me? That's essentially it. <laughs> so, like I was saying, during eclipses, we basically just need to write him off, just lock him indoors, because apparently the AI can root itself to somewhere whereby if the sun comes up, they're just gonna die, and there's nothing you can do about that. So, um... Yeah, there's me saying, oh, eclipses are actually useful. Nah, turns out they're actually just severely life-threatening. Turns out vampires are more likely to burn during the eclipse. Why Why are you cleaning out there, my friend? Do we not have the cleaning mod enabled? Okay, so we want to set not home area. That's one thing I hate about base game. Remember, I can't believe this, this still hasn't been changed. Uh, not being able to. So let's go manage areas. Let's go new area. Rename that to clean. Cl clean. Okay. And then let's go clean area is allowed to be this one. This is fine. Um, everything down here is also good. This stuff up here. This stuff up here. Oh, I bet you could butcher a desiccated creature for its bones. Could you butcher it? I don't know if they have to have a certain amount of meat before you can butcher them. We can just chop them up into bones. That could actually work. Um, the only downside is you may get rotten meat off of like a rotten creature and then get f food poisoning, obviously. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Um, or that would be a bad idea, but I'm just saying maybe trying it wouldn't be such a bad idea. Cool. Um, it's still not paying attention to that, huh? Um, oh. There we go. Okay. Uh, let me go say clean, and then we remove home area. Okay, so now in theory he's not going to clean the friggin' bridge or the river. No, he is still cleaning, um, cleaning area. 
Cleaning area will kill clean filth in this area. Only this area will be cleaned. He's literally brushing a tree. Yeah, you make sure that tree is clean, my friend. <coughs> my god, that boar tilted me. It's, it's taken away my voice. Okay. So let's actually get on with the important stuff now. That's enough pissing around for today. Time to actually start the research off new. So, why have we not got power, first and foremost? Have the power cable's been... Oh my god. Power cables and the, um, the, the actual... What are they called? Pipes? Those don't seem to play too well together. There definitely seems to be some, uh, some misdirection between those. Maybe it's just the mods not incorporating well together, or, or maybe as they're building one, the other gets replaced, and we just have to wait until... <gasps> Irasa! Welcome! Holy shit, okay. So, now we definitely need to get working on this, uh, on this house, huh? So let's place this over here. Or actually, where can we place that? Uh, place it over here. That should work fine. Now we actually need to build three separate bedrooms. So build a wall there, and then, uh, install that over here. Here, I guess. Alright. Tammy has been broken by Mel. Recruitment will now begin on Tammy as well. This is good, I guess. It means that we've got more people be able to stone cut and deliver resource and do all that other good stuff. Right, so we're going to install this bed here. These bedrooms are going to have to be very small because we just don't have enough, st uh, like, enough room in this space in particular. We could expand it out, I guess. Um, like, a, like a warden house is what we need. Rather than just a barrack. A barrack is fine, but it's just so much lost mood for basically no reason. So why don't we build straight across there, huh? Reinstall this one over to, like, here. And then, if we do something like that. That way the bedrooms aren't tiny, but they're decent and size enough to get some furniture in. We could also expand it out very, very slightly. Plus, it gives us still access to the other rooms that we built as well. So, I think this is probably not a terrible idea. Um, we're not going to be able to vent, though, if we do that, though, are we? Um, oh, unless we keep the vent there and just build a couple of others. So, build, like, one there and one there. Yeah, I think that could work. Okay then, team. Get to work. House version 2. So we've got more people capable of stone cutting, which I definitely need to set up your job to basically be nothing but a stone cut right now. I think it's probably not a bad idea. So we've got Jilp needs his jobs being set up again because uh, incident involving the sun. You might have heard of that. Uh, finishing off is irrelevant for you, I guess. Uh, rearm is pointless. Refuel is top tier. So get rid of this one, this one. Um, oh, she's actually capable of finishing off there. So basic haul, patient, firefight. Cool. Okay. Um, she's okay at handling and training, but we don't particularly want that right now. She's good at harvesting and growing, so I'll let you deal with both of those as well. Um, mining can be slightly higher tier for you, because we don't really have any real dedicated miners, do we? Oh, God, you're garbage at that. Plant cut can be higher for you as well. I want you to be sort of the, um, you know, generic kind of useful, useful, doing the jobs that no one else is particularly good or skilled at, the sort of generic jobs, you know, hauling, cleaning, stone cutting, that type of thing. Good luck, Jill. Let's get these bedrooms built, my friend. Light destroyed by construction. So can we expand this out once more? How much wood is that going to cost us? Not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And that way we've got a bedroom for all of our uh, our our wardens, essentially. Oh, we're having a party. Nice. A party to celebrate. Oh, his face has gone back to the old one, right? Group from the amalgamation of Nellor. Hopefully they haven't turned up with more goddamn vampires. Every time these guys turn up, a vampire-based incident occurs. Uh, can we, how can we easily check? Have we, I've literally just got to go to every single one. So a minor, Scratch Scar, Michael, Jonas, Karis. don't think any of them have got vampirism then. I think we're good this time. So last time it happened, they turned up. They had vampires, and of course it was during the day. The vampire went berserk, and they attacked us, and we had to, we attacked them back, because that's, you know, I wasn't just going to let the vampire knock our guy down or kill him or cower indoors. So uh, that guy, because we injured him, it counted as acting as an enemy, despite the fact that he went berserk. So that was, uh, that was pretty annoying, huh? Good. Okay, this is a good start. Can we get Mal's bed reinstalled very quickly, seeing as Mal basically has nowhere to sleep right now, or would at least be sleeping in the corridor. Let's build this and put a copy of that one in there. Perfect. And then we can also get rid of these marble blocks. Awesome. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, and then a floor probably also wouldn't go amiss. Right, wood floor. Okay, cool. So then we need a dresser, end table, uh, whatever furniture we can basically fit in there that looks fairly decent as well. Looks are kind of important, I guess, when you're building a gigantic vampire castle. So, uh, oh, bone chairs. Nice. 300? Jesus, good lord. We've got an entire castle. We've got an entire defensive wall for less than that. Good lord. Okay, um, we want, like I said, uh, d -d -d dresser. Out of bone, though? I think we need to save the bone now. Okay, um, let's go just regular wood. I don't like building things out of wood anymore, but that's okay. We'll just roll with it. So, yeah, wood dresser, wood dresser, and wood dresser. Your bedroom door is going straight to the kitchen. It's not the most convenient, is it? Or... Ideally, it's super convenient. You could consider that super convenient. Right, let's go for wooden table. There you go. You're happy. You're happy. You're happy. And now you guys have absolutely nothing to complain about because you have bedrooms. You're welcome, by the way. Are they garbage? Yes. Are they in pitch black darkness? Absolutely. Are the temperatures going to be horrible in there? Of course. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just... 
And now we've got to build another one. Okay, fantastic. Good. Nothing to worry about then. Just another bedroom I've got to find room for. Um, we'll have to build another sort of warden's quarters. I like the wardens not having particularly fantastic bedrooms either. Shall we turn Arasa into another ghoul? I don't really know the, the, the rules to do that. I don't I really, really know what's a good balance, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, the bonuses seem good enough to, to warrant it. Don't get me wrong. I, th I think they're... So ghoul bonded, and then of course they get the bonuses as well. Stage three thrall. I think it. I think it is worth it. And and he seems to have enough. You know, we haven't had any vitae problems or anything like that. Still clearly quite high. Um, Irasa, you are going to get vampired. In fact, I might vampire Tammy as well. <laughs> well. I love that we've got five wardens and one prisoner. Just the world's toughest prison. They're just going. They're just going annoy and poke him for the fun of it because they've really got nothing else to do here. They're bored out of their goddamn minds. Uh, a dedicated cleaner. Hey, congratulations, Tammy. Welcome to the team. Clean up our shit. Thank you. Okay, firefighter patient is obviously top then, and we'll just do our usual sort of generic builds early on here. Uh, I generally set bed rest at two, and then just juggle it around depending on the severity of it. I think that's always the safest way to do things, huh? Um, good. So our wardens should probably should be better wardens. Maybe if our we get better wardens, we can convert our wardens back into prisoners because they're garbage. Or we can maybe, like, I don't know, turn them into corpses and use them for, for maggot breeding or whatever else was included in that generally horrendous mod. Cooking. Congratulations. We've got ourselves a second cook and a second butcherer there. What's their skill? AR20 is actually very good. Or at least it's not completely atrocious. Uh, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. You're also on the growing and harvesting, so you do have a major passion in that one, which I would definitely take. Um... Do maximum in growing in that one. So we could probably take some points out of Van. Or oh, actually, who's... You're good at constructing, deconstructing. Um, so let's swap those two around. What else? Oh, hang on. No, I'm going to do it the opposite way. Because this guy's good at crafting. So we'll take some points out of that. And he's also the cook. Okay, that, that makes sense. So we'll let you not do so much uh, harvesting or, or growing specifically. And then we can focus more on the crafting aspect of things. Fine. Uh, Tammy, what else are you good at, my friend? Nothing. You are garbage. Get rid of load, because those are not relevant. Cremating. We're never going to cremate a corpse. Either we'll butcher it for bones, or we'll use it for, you know, like a planting box or whatever. Deliver resources should always be fairly high there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Good. Dedicated cleaner. That's exactly what this base needs right now. Bedrooms are quite nice, though we do need to build another one. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and blueprint what we've got. The rooms don't need to be more complex than this. We could do some lights in there, though, before I blueprint it. All right, let's put this one down there, there, and there. What do you mean, don't put the light right above their bed? That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that at all as they're trying to sleep and they've just got this blistering neon light. What have we got? Psychoid leaps. We could uh, keep our prisoners hopped up on... Well, I mean, hops, psychoid leaps specifically. That's probably not a bad idea. Maybe just keep them all drugged. Just have it just like a Lucifer. Well, I mean, Luciferium's going a bit far, but just, just leave them a load of like joints around or something like that. Sorry, smoke leaf. Leave them a bunch of smoke leaf around and then that you know slows them down, keeps them calm, chill them out a little bit. That's probably not a bad idea, actually, and they can grow their own. Although that seems like a horrible idea. Yeah, giving prisoners the drugs trade. That seems like a good plan. All right, you need a bedroom then, Tammy. Oh, Irasa needs a bedroom. You're apparently sleeping on some medicine in the freezer. Uh-huh. That's fine. That's that's not No, that's a normal thing to do. Of course, I'm, I don't know why I'm concerned with that one. You, you've been upgraded to the kitchen. Congratulations. You're, you're welcome, by the way. Oh, I've got hypothermia. Oh, I'm shivering. I wonder why. You absolute idiot. Good God. Why would they do that? I just think the AI is... is I don't know if it's this pack in particular, or whether the AI has got stupider over the course of us playing RimWorld. I have no idea what the hell is causing that at all. Now they're apparently just sleeping all day, huh? Right, so... Jill. Jill. Give me fucking mercy, my man. No hauling. We can't have Jill Paul. He's not even set to haul. What were you doing? What was he doing? Oh, I just go for a fucking wander through the wilderness and catch on fire. I'm... <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little bit... Jill's fears have subsided because he have become ash. Good God. I'm not sure I can handle this. This is fucking killing me. <sighs> um, how are we supposed to deal with this then? What do I? What do I do? I think what we'll do. I, d I don't know why. Why was he moving over there? I'm gonna try and work this out. Oh, well, we obviously can't because he's, he's fucking dead. He's a pile of ash. 
Resurrect him again. Oh, then we need to stop. I, I like this is killing me. Constantly having to resurrect this guy because he's just doing fucking dumb, stupid shit. Why was he over here in the first place? What would possess him to come in this direction? We, he's not set to mining, or at least he wasn't set to mining. I mean, we can't do anything involving Jilp in the outdoors, apparently. It's just too much. If he can't research, we might as well just not. Oh, there's no point in me setting his jobs because the second we unpause, he's just going to fucking catch fire again. Um, I honestly don't know how to manage him. It seems like I just can't win with the guy. Okay, get, get to the base. Get to the base. No, okay. He's just going to burn again, at which point we'll have to resurrect him again. And then I'll have to try and set up his jobs again. And uh, I feel like I just need to make a vampire area and just restrict him to that. I never knew this would be so horribly inconvenient. Just all, constantly. Right, okay. So let's just sort this out. Because I'm not having another episode. Of, no more resurrections from now on. I'm putting my foot down. If he dies again, he's fucking dead. We'll have to get another vampire. Um, get rid of this. Refuel is top. Uh, he can't build. I cannot let him out of the house. If we let him out of the house, he dies. So no, it's not happening. No drugs. You are just nothing but research. Congratulations. You're, you're going to be trapped in your house. Yep. King, get Jilp. Cannot go outside. I mean, his schedule... Unless we adjust his schedule, so he's... What the fuck am I looking at? Um, unless we adjust his schedule. But no, why was he out... I mean, it's 12 o'clock. Why is he outside now anyway? He should have been asleep five hours ago. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, let's give him a couple more hours of sleep. Oh, great. And then what? He can work for fucking five hours a day. Um, what if we do it like that? Is that a little better? I I don't know. I don't know what. I, thank you for watching. <laughs> this is killing me. This has actually defeated me. I honestly don't know what, what the best way to deal with these vampires are. Do we keep them locked up all day? Because every time I take my eye off him for 30 seconds, he's running across the map trying to bring back some fucking dead boar into the house. Good lord. Thank you to the insane top tier level patrons for making this episode in particular possible in the first place. Thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Blurry Bunny, Sidini, Conspire T, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Danny Good, Donald, Eric B, Escape, Fukuno Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Palvis Presley, Circle the Swede, Sorogon, Toby Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Back Who's Back Since Azzy 7011. I'm hoping I can get the new Patreon updated list soon. I really am, because it, it's still not ready. Like I said, uh, I think it was last episode, I'm going to have to manually go through my emails at this point. So even after doing that, I apologize if there's anyone missed, because I really can't do anything else. They're taking quite a long time this month to pull their finger out of their ass. So many apologies if you're not on this list. Don't worry, I have seen you out there. I know that you have uh, backed and you have shown your support, so I will uh, I will definitely make sure you're on the list for next time. It's going to take me a while, though, um, as in, like, obviously... obviously you know, you guys won't know that, but it's going to take me probably a couple of hours to try and get this list back together and work out who is who. A big shout out, of course, as well to Asro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson. All of this was UK. Arachne44, Betsimus Max, Ben Trope, Sidini, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Ron, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Aaron McGowan, Isid Gray, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Lemon Stark, Llewellyn Thomas, Matthew, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Nixie, Pantamu, Panther Pearl, Smirtworm, The Insane Pickle, Venom Meow, Will Wade, Wolfie, and Zico 2. Thank you all for your support. I need support. Support from this goddamn sunlight.